welcome back the course is getting more and more interesting as if we recall we in doing transactions uh, we just send let's say i send you money or eth from my wallet let's say i have 100 eth and i send you two eth so i will be having remaining 98 and you will get two so that will be stored on blockchain and uh, in a form of transaction so this means transaction equal to change in data and transaction will be stored and when we submit transaction it will get approved and data will be stored on blockchain so in that scenario when we jump into look into blockchain so it will be something changing anything on the blockchain if we want to change anything on blockchain it will need a transaction and transaction will need approval and after approval the data will be changed on blockchain so if we look into our smart contract it will be held same for our smart contract as well right like if we set the message it will be like we will call a transaction and it will change the data and but wait for a minute and look into this one get message doesn't change anything doesn't involve any transaction and we just get our data and it pop up on screen if we if you recall this thing like check message or like say hi set message at involved transaction but this one just execute and it doesn't need any transaction so i would like to introduce a new concept and it will be like there are two ways to invoke function one is to just call a function and other one is to send a transaction to a function and calling function we don't uh, we do not modify any data and uh, it just return data and it run instantly it will not take any time as it don't need to be approved or go to mining and it's free to do as well but if we look into sending a transaction to a function it will modify data as well like in case of uh, we just send set message it take time to execute in our case in our remax it is a test environment and we have very limited users for that so it doesn't need any execution time but in real world our evm or on bitcoin network it will take 10 to 30 seconds for each transaction depending on net speed on also on number of miners and a lot of stuff behind the scene so it will take time um, also transaction and this sort of transaction it will return us a hash as well for the transaction and it will cost money if you look into it let me just start it from a fresh account and see what happened if i send a new hi, hi new message and the transaction just happened and when we look into the second wallet the second little bit it is deducted from the wallet as a gas fee so there is transaction fee for this as well so we have two ways to invoke a function and you guys check it out and uh, you guys uh, also you can see it from here if we hover it over message it will say it's a call and if we do it on set message it will show us transaction okay i will pause it over here and when we come back we will 
see more what is ether and what is web and what is the reference so see you in next one bye